Welcome to <laughs> Welcome to Nuts on Tour and their crazy puppies. Yes. Welcome to this episode of Nuts on Tour. <laughs> face. We're getting okay. what's up? Mugged. Getting mugged. Yes, everybody wants to be in on the act this morning. Yes, yes, they do. I right. mean, I've, I've lost my seat to the dog because she's decided she's going to sit here. Um, yes, the big dog's having force. So I'm stood in the middle. For this one. <laughs> we were going to use clickbait and go, oh my God, everything's wet through. Oh, what a disaster. Yeah, we don't do clickbait. No. So this one is, we had a leak. When we, get, when we got home from Waleswood, Sue opened the cupboard and went, oh my God, it's a disaster. No, no, she didn't. <laughs> she went, oh dear, oh dear. it's wet. It's, we have water where uh, we shouldn't we, have we water. We have dribbles. Or should I say we have wasser where we shouldn't have wasser. <laughs> yes. So uh, Sue emptied all the damp towels and toilet rolls and things from out of the cupboard under the sink. And we found out that the, the pipes going up to the sink, one of them was leaking or dripping slightly. So uh, in this one, how to fix a leaking tap on a Deathless Globetrotter XLI. Ooh, thank you. It's a bit long winded than, oh my God, what a disaster, but you know, more truthful. Yeah. So uh, on with the vid. Hello and welcome to the bathroom. The offending article. First job, put plug in plug hole that way anything dropped doesn't go into the waste system it just stays in the bottom of the bowl good tip number one there's not a lot of space under here i can open that one back but if i open that one back it's in my way so next job take off the door two screws literally undo them i've already undone these yeah take the door off store the door there you are. Store the door out the way and that gives us room underneath. Here's a light I prepared earlier. Oh. All right. So there we are. Underneath here you have an, a, a large a large nut. So to get to that I'll show it this in a second. Big spanner open it up now you haven't got room to put the spanner on that way so what you have to do is put it on that way and then spin it like that these are only plastic nuts and they shouldn't be on that tight the nut is not what makes the seal the rubber bit is what makes the seal so they shouldn't be on that tight it might even be finger tight but for me to get me hand in next job take the shelf out so move sue's water collector Put that down a level if you can see there there are little clips so to lift the cupboard lift the shelf out yeah i need to put need to remount the return the camera okay so there are four little clips one two three four so I will move the light and then if you press in and lift one two and then move the light tilt that at the same time need need both hands tilt that at the same time as lifting up and the shelf comes out so now you have a lot bigger area for me to get my body in so I can go up there and undo the bottom of the sink. Right, so next job, spanner in. So there you can see the plastic nut. I can't hold the camera and the, see the spanner goes on like that and you can unturn it this actually I was able to do by hand so let me just come out so there's the tap once you've undone the knot on the bottom that should pull out very gently you might need I've already done this you might need one hand below and one hand above to help with the little hoses 
yeah and then pull the tap out you've got two wires for the switch and if you can see there two little screws so next job is with a small blade screwdriver undo the two screws and take out this section here with the pipes on so we and these are tiny little screws so and that's why we put the plug in so that if we drop one it doesn't disappear down the sink like so right next job is to gently prise prise this section here that way so we can oh that came out nice and easy and then there are your, there's your hot and your cold and in the bottom of here are two little o-rings let me just undo that and show you so in the bottom of there are two little o-rings so again using a very small screwdriver just you can see that out it comes right there's one there's one little baby o-ring and I don't know which one it was that was leaking unfortunately but uh, been as they've both been in the same amount of time and I've uh, and that goes in there been as they've both been in the same amount of time and they're only literally pennies each I'm going to change both of them so now off to the shop and get Two more O-rings that size. So here we go. There's two O-rings in there like that. So now we have to put those two up. Clip back in, put those two in there like that and squeeze them down. There we go. One, two, and then the little screw in the little hole do make sure that you put the ring on first otherwise you're going to have to take it all to pieces again afterwards aren't you little screwdriver not sure how much of this i need two hands for this so i'm not sure how much of this the, the camera's actually picking up but uh, hopefully you'll be able to see some of this screw that one in like that right once those two are in feed the wires back down Feed the hoses back down, get it into the right position, roughly. Yeah. And then underneath, screw the nut back on. So relocate to underneath, turn the light back on. So very difficult to do in this space there's the feed the wires feed the two little wires through the nut quite difficult to do with one hand whilst holding the camera that's one and that's two 
two. And then tighten that onto the tap like so. Sorry about that. I needed both hands to hold the tap and screw the uh, nut on from underneath. So there you are. That's the tap repositioned back in the sink and underneath we have how good you can see that hose is nicely looped around be careful you don't kink them if you kink them flat then obviously you won't get any water at all out so uh, that's it now put the cupboard back in <coughs> Now put the shelf back in. So get it the right way around and the right way up. Pick it in like that. Oh. Uh, tilt that so it's behind there. That goes in so it's behind there. little clips one two three four and that's nice and solid all right last job put the door back on and uh, I'm gonna need both hands for this one again get the door and slot it on like that and on like that Same with that one. Only two little screws, same as MFI furniture in your house. Shut that one, shut that one. It's a little bit out, we'll drop that just a touch, just to square it up. And tighten that, and tighten that. One. So there we go. So that's taken roughly start to finish three hours, but that includes an hour to go out for the shot to get the two O-rings. Two hours work, not really technically difficult, a little bit fiddly, careful you don't drop the O-rings of the two little screws. Other than that, saves quite a bit of money. I'm not sure how much that would have cost if we'd have taken it to a, a dealership or a garage to do. I reckon it's got to have been in excess of £200. So £200 for, wait for this, the two O-rings, 12p. Oh, 12p. So uh, a considerable saving in my, in my uh, estimation. Now, last job. Put some water in the tank because uh, it's been down to below I think it was minus two the other night so we'd empty we have emptied all the tanks because we have a, a frost warning device on ours so if it gets below I think it's below one the little uh, the little fl switch flicks over and it drops all the water so we don't like the water all over the drive it just turns it into a ice skating ring but we already altered uh, we'd already dropped all the water before uh, before the frost because we knew it was coming so last job will be put a little bit of water in prime the system and make sure it doesn't leak later not all motor uh, not all motor home taps are the same so you may have a slightly different setup but it will be something similar along them lines so all being well, that will give you a little well, insight. Some have in... micro switches or something. Oh, it's got micro switches in it. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. All being well, that will have given you a little bit of an insight in 
how you can fix there you are, sit down now for a minute just in time for the end of the video <laughs> <laughs> you're back again though aren't you yeah just a little bit of an insight into what you can do it's not that difficult if you take your time quite easy quite straightforward couple of row rings away you go save yourself pounds till the yep. next one bye bye and bye from the and little buggy dog the, from the dakota dog <laughs>